Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees, with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. This train is inbound from level three dormitories to sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond sector C, you will need to return to the central transit hub in Area 9, and board a high security train. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. Due to the high toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, Disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. reminder that the Black Mesa Hazard Course Decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the Level 3 facility. The semi-finals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure access transmission. Remember, more lives than your own may depend on your fitness. Do you have a friend or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our Civilian Recruitment Division. The Black Mesa Research Facility is an equal opportunity employer. A reminder to all Black Mesa personnel, Regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. 
Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive Good morning, day. Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. Well, let's get to work. Hi guys, Vex here, and welcome to my LP of the Half-Life series. I hope you enjoyed the train ride in. I decided to just shut up and let you enjoy the opening ambience. I think one of the most iconic openings to a video game. The opening to Half-Life when you're on the tram listening to the Black Mesa announcement system. Uh, this game came out in 1998. I was 13 years old when I played this. I guess I was the target audience. This is actually Half-Life Source. Uh, it's a remake of Half-Life using the Source engine, which is why it looks slightly better than it might otherwise, although it's still obviously a game from 1998. Uh, despite being on a newer engine. You can tell the textures are not as sharp as a modern game. But I've just, I've been wanting to play the Half-Life series, and yeah, so now I'm going to. Uh, this game, uh, the following LP series is based on a mature rated game. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey Barney, what do you got for me, man? Get in. And your your facial texture. <laughs> so being a game from 1998, I figure a lot of my subscribers, it's entirely possible, might not have played Half-Life. Or the first one. I'm sure a lot of people have played Half-Life too. Uh, so we are Gordon Freeman. Uh, to borrow Zombie Cleo's term, Gordon Freeman Super Scientist. We are a theoretical physicist working for the Black Mesa Research Facility. Oh, it's going to be another loading screen here, isn't it? You can always... T yep, loading screen. I wonder if I could run that test again. Alright, let's get started. Black Mesa Facility, Sector C Test Labs. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I have Hi. a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Oh, huh, okay. Uh, now, right, right here... Have you been able to get the beverage machine to work yet? Yes. Valve is laying down some theming, I think. Really nice theming here. Uh, you see the Black Mesa Research Facility. It's very high-tech, very secretive government research facility, and yet things aren't quite working right. They started very early. You saw a hazardous waste leak coming in with the robot. Yes, I'm sure the computer parameters are all nominal. What is this? Get away from there, Freeman. I'm expecting an important message. Oh, sorry. What else can I poke around here? So during this LP, uh, half of it's going to be nostalgia for me, just something I wanted to play because I wanted to. Uh, and half of it's going to be me playing this and pointing out areas I where I think Valve Aren't you? really nailed game design. Uh, you aren't going soft on that ethics issue again, are you? <gasps> Ooh. Oh, oh, hey, what are that. you doing? Come on, Gordon. You trying to get me into trouble? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so much fun to mess with these guys. Sure that theory of yours is correct? All right, well, let's move along. But yeah, I want to point out areas in the game that I think are really good. Maybe stuff you might not think about as you play. Uh, let's see, what's in here? 
Good morning, Gordon. Morning. Big day today, Freeman. Big day today? What do you mean? The sample was just delivered to the test chamber. The sample? Big day, the sample. Please, leave me alone. All right. After the, experiment. the experiment. Big day, experiment, the sample. You! Dr. Freeman. Yeah, that guy. That, the guy right there, is the G-Man. And while I play through the Half-Life series, I will do my best to spot him, because it's fun to see him as he crops up. Uh, really creepy. Really creepy. You see this guy popping up and monitoring your progress in areas where he has no right or ability for a normal human being to get to. Uh, normal Normal day, peaceful office. Meet. Uh, where am I supposed to go? Coolant reserve facility. Can we, you got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. Okay. Not supposed to go that way. Now, you'll have to bear with me. The last time I played through this game was, uh, I don't know, mid-2000s, maybe? So, it's been over five years, I think, since I've played through this. Uh, so, I'm going to have to remember what to do in some parts, and you'll just have to excuse me. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? Well, yeah, but I'm trying to make an LP for the YouTubes and, and whatnot, and... And that takes, that takes time. Uh, ooh, food! Boop. Freeman? Dude? Hee <laughs> Boop. Yes. Oh my god, what are you doing? Blowing up your food, because I'm a jerk. You'll just have to wait until after the test. This is broken. Ugh. Everything in this facility is broken. It's government efficiency at its best. What's in here? Ah, here we go. Alright, um... Do these open? No, they don't Why open. Do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Oh, so they can get caught on a uh, cooling fan and strangle you while slowly pulling your body upwards to get your head chopped up by the fan. Um, anyway. So, where is... Freeman, there's all right. There's my locker. I'm Gordon Freeman, super scientist. I am the one free man. No, I can't use that yet. That shut down procedure chart. Okay. <laughs> yes, I. See. I they're they're occupied. Uh... Oh, look at that! Wow, guys. Guys, look! Look at that awesome water reflection. These these games' graphics are amazing. In all seriousness, you do not want to see the original Half-Life at this point. Uh, these are the improved graphics for Half-Life Source. Yeah, you don't want to see the original. It's really bad. All right, here is our HEV suit. Gonna open the chamber and let's go put her on. Ah, oh, yes. I always thought this was so cool. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV Protective System. <laughs> Most of the simulation results are perfectly acceptable, you know. Conditions. High impact reactive armor activated. Atmospheric contaminant sensors activated. Vital sign monitoring activated. Automatic manipulation first engaged. Defensive weapon selection system activated. Munition level monitoring activated. Communications interface online. Have a very safe day. <laughs> God. And you get the music and the computer booting up, and uh, if that sequence doesn't make you feel like a badass, I don't know what will. I mean, you got this awesome suit you just put on, and we're ready to go be, be a scientist. I can't be bothered right now. Yeah. Excuse me, Gordon. You got a little computer on a cart. You got to monitor it, right? Okay. Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. I'm in the barrel. All oh, right, right. The experiment, the sample. Yeah. Brrp. Hey, let me through. Oh, okay. 
Loading screen. Now this is installed. This is installed to a solid state drive, so the loading should be pretty snappy. Although I am recording with Fraps, which uh, makes loading not snappy. Although I'm recording to a different drive. Ooh, hydroelectric dam. Thank you, Valve. Let me see that dam again. Show me where I'll be fighting a helicopter eventually. Oh, sorry. Spoilers. Yep, there we go. So some foreshadowing, theming. Got a helicopter. So, wow. Yeah, it shows you the helicopter and the dam. Yeah, you'll fight the helicopter at the dam, among other places. Burp. I can die. Hold on a sec. What is the... Let me make sure I have all these controls. I guess I should put it on normal, too. Let's put the key. There we go. Uh, where is quick save F6, F9? Oh, yeah. Okay. Can I die here? I can die here, can't I? Oh, yeah, I'm dead. Well, that's the end of the LP, guys. I'll see you next time uh, on another series. Until then, take it. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, my God. Half-Life ladders. I have seen these mess up so many people. I personally don't have a really big problem with these. They're not so bad. Uh, I'll, okay, fine. I'll stop messing around and I'll just take the elevator down. Whee! Uh, boop. Man, when I was 13, though, this game, to quote Ego Raptor, blew my goddamn mind. Like... Think about what, like, okay, I'm 13, it's 1998, what am I playing? Like, Doom? Like, like, Doom on PC? I mean, Mario, what, Mario 64, maybe? You know? I guess. So, a game... The Half-Life series was really unique, because what you expected from a first-person shooter is mindless running around uh, shooting stuff. But uh, this... <laughs> more foreshadowing. Good job, Valve. It's the attention to detail, really. It is. Caution laser. Yeah. Uh, but I am I am kind of a Valve fanboy. I think they have really good level design. And I like playing their games, if for no other reason. Well, they're amazing games. But just to take notes, I guess. You know? Like, just look at this right here. Greetings. You come around the corner, and you see this giant thing here. It says Caution Laser. And you saw the ladder in the elevator well here. Back there, the ladder. And... I couldn't even venture to guess. You might not think about this when you're first playing, but it's kind of like... As a gamer, you know, like, oh man, why is there a ladder there? I mean, why bother to put a ladder there if I'm not going to have to use it later? Well, why would I need to use the ladder? Can't I just use the elevator unless something happens to the elevator? You see where I'm going with this. And you get that feeling because the entire time you've been coming here, you see, like, it's a high-tech facility, but yet things are kind of run down and breaking, and it's like they're pushing science to its limits, and they're, and they're not sure what's going to happen. <laughs> But maybe I shouldn't go too heavy with the spoilers, just in case this is the first time a lot of my viewers have seen this game. And you might, if you've never, yeah, you know, it's entirely possible. Some of my younger uh, viewers, uh, you've never played Half-Life, at least the first game. Well, I think I'm going to end it here, because this is a good spot to take a break, because of what's about to happen. We will leave you with, I went through a dang loading screen. At least it's fast. I will leave you with the trappings of normalcy. And I'll see you guys next episode. Until then, take it easy.